gigantic ship propeller manufacturing process and other factory production processes. Abmarine. The initial process begins with the production of the turbine engine, which is hanged. Then the fitting of the stator is done, and the jet turbine is taken out once the fitting is cleared and done. Similarly, the turbine is taken for the outfitting of the azipod and of the propulsion unit. That is the process where a large number of wires and similarities are attached with the turbine. Additionally, then comes the turn for assembling the shaft, which is carried by two workers with the assistance of pieces of machinery. Meanwhile, the thrust bearing assembly is also developed when the assembly shaft is prepared, and then the bearing assembly is attached with the assembly shaft. Thus, the integration of both becomes ready to be installed in the rotor installation. The machine propels the installation under the supervision of two and three workers. Once the installation process is done, the turbine is pulled for the next process, which is the attachment of wires. Then the giant carrying capacity trucks pull the turbine for the next procedure and take it out from the manufacturing unit to the next department, where the finalized body of the ship is waiting to get the turbine attached. Thus, a worker attaches the turbine with the ship that becomes ready for the quick start to begin the operations. And for the next production, the same cycle continues. Now, before going further, I'd like all of you to please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notifications and updates regarding important videos on our YouTube channel. Industrial Montage Group, Vlad Adrian. The disc is placed on the manipulator and then is given a final press on the manipulator. Similarly, then the dishing process starts, which continues until the disc adopts a specific and determined shape of a giant plate. This is the most time-consuming process, as a flat disc is pressed till it adopts the shape of a round plate. Finally, when it adopts the shape, it's removed from the dishing machine. Subsequently, then comes the turn for the flanging process. And meanwhile, the balancing of the head is also done if it resembles to be necessary. This is also the process that seems to be the most crucial process among the other processes, as it balances the entire structure of the disc. When it becomes certain for the machine that the shape is designed and shaped well, then the flanging process ends. Similarly, right after this process, the removal of the steel from the top of the disc is carried, and thus, the disc becomes ready to be sent for any of the other areas that demand the disc. 
Luxfer Rev and Partners. For having the shape of a shell, the process is initiated with a plate to cup draw. Once a worker finalizes the shape of the shell, then it is washed, which is also done by machines. Correspondingly, the shell is sent for some inspection process, where a worker is specified for its full inspection, which is only marked when the shape passes the inspection. Afterward, then the shell is sent for liner spinning, which smooths the shape from the top and finalizes it, which also goes through some extreme heating systems for melting. Then the shells in large numbers are sent for a heating process, which is taken by the elevator deep down into a tub. Then each of the shells is taken by the robots for machine porting, and then the robo-machines place them on the escalator. The escalator, one by one, takes them to the painting portion that doesn't paint them, but wraps them with carbon fiber. Similarly, just after the wrapping process, the shells are sent for labeling, which is the imprint of the necessary information, and then at the same time for packaging, where the shells are packed into a plastic wrap to ensure quality maintenance. Then the shells are ultimately sent for the sanding process, which turns them into a circle, and the shells are in large numbers. Finally, then each shell is sent for hydro testing, which takes each shell into the water tub. Once the process of hydro testing is done, then the final and ultimate process is the UV gel coating of these shells. And this is also done by the robo-machines. And thus, the shells are finally made, only it entails the last inspection, which is also carried out by a worker, who observes the final result in a computer screen. If the results are positive, the shells are sent to the further distribution channels, where the demanders can have them in their hands.